Hello and uh, welcome back to my video about Nox.js. In this video I will show how you can use Vooks store in, in your project. It's uh, very simple but it's something you need to learn. So let's start to, to explain what we have. We have this store folder. If you don't have uh, the store folder yet, then create it because we need to use it. As default in in long time, the the default store file should be index.js. But I can see on the documentation, it will be duplicated. So I will not recommend you to use that. Instead, I will use uh, my own hello world.js file. I will make export because first I want to make a, a, a state. In my state, I want a counter and it should be default as zero. In the next way, I need to, to use uh, export a const called mutation. The difference between the state and mutation it's this is like the data that's what we want to contain, and this is our functions we want to commit to. I will call it increment. I, will, I want the state inside. And here I want the state counter to say it should be plus plus. When you have this file, we can go for go for the developer mode again. And go for about. We need uh, we need one here to call it counter. It's just to illustrate what we have. And then I need this store state hello world and then the counter. And now you can see it's zero. If I'm going back here, and I want to have a button so we can increment the counter. Add one. And we want the click function to add one. And I need the methods. Add one you can do it more simple here but just do this one and inside here I want to say I want to connect to the store and then I want to commit the commit should be our file hello world and then the function increment and that's it. If I'm doing the right way, this will be incremented by one and it's working. And you can see if I reload, it will be zero again. That's how it's working. If you need to do that um, uh, to keep it in, if you reload, then you need to research more about the plugins, uh, how you use that. I will not uh, go deeper in that for this case because this is a basic and I only want to show you how you implement it and how you start using it. So the advance you need to research it yourself. I hope it's okay and thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you want to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions please make them below in the comments and I hope you want to like it, share it and add it for your playlist. Thank you so much for your time and see you next time.